upgrades ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. Ladies and... I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of mail. My goodness. <laughs> oh, it's been a great journey so far. And as always, let's get to it. Uh, this is what we are tracking right now. Because I've done the assignments. And I just want to get them off before I continue with the main story. Because I'm going to need this. Because I want to do the... The opening key one, the Alahomora one. Then after the, after the Professor Galix one, I'll do the Alahomora one. I gotta open those locked doors. Woo! Okay, let's get it. Here we go. Nope. I think I got. Do I have more mail? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. That was a key. Revelio. That was a key. Ah oh, man, I lost it. My fellow peeps. Man, it's even been a while since I've been to my my room of requirements have even been I, I haven't been there in a while now professor weasley's already that cabbage how wonderful to see you again I've completed my assignments professor pleased to hear it professor Weasley will be too I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along thank you professor Professor Hecket tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. 
Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Mangardian Leviosa. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Mengajun Lavioso. Getting the Slowly getting there. Wingardium Leviosa. Now oh, I can move them around now. Mengadian Lavioso. Okay, hey, hey, let's go open those chests. Or should we first? No. No way. Yes, I must return here first before doing this one. Still need to collect something. No. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Defendo! Mm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defendo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else.
Where are we gonna put you? It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Earlier, Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Incendio. Nice. Okay. I think there's something you want to say. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. Okay. That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? <laughs> hmm, it was at that. While it lasted, at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Okay, they've got nice, interesting little stories. <laughs> well, then let's go Alamora. Alahamora. And I lose track of the time when I were a free person. Whoa, I've never been in this section of the map before. Let's turn it on. Incendio. Which one? Okay. This one must be. Oh. And then this one must be. Oh. Where's the other two? That's one and three. One and three. You can get all four of 
Beating everyone at cross ones. I gotta see this. That was interesting. How would you like to learn the knockback jigs flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. I'm uncomfortable with the size of my This game is huge. My goodness. We got a key. We got a key. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Oh, wait, Gareth. I lost my key. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. No. Hmm, I don't know, Gareth. Secret passage to a cellar? Sounds like it's off limits. Not at all. It's a perfectly legitimate secret passage. I'd use it if I could. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Oh, okay, that's it. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. No, I'm not doing that right now. This is what I'm doing. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. 
Oh, where's the key? I can hear you. Vellio. Where is this key? There you are. <laughs> it's baiting me. Hey! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. We are fortunate to... Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigeist. A demigeist? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, 
I can go about my evening duties. Okay. The faculty tower. I'm not sure I should be going in there. Oh, you needn't worry. Uh, you'll be perfectly fine if you simply mind you're not seen. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Am I going blind? I don't see anything yet. Hello, Hamora. I did not know what I was well doing done. there. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle after all. Read it later. Oh, we got a key. My goodness, how was I supposed to find this without this Alahamora? say is that so uh, we're raising a generation of coddled people oh we got another one it should be a key close by this key
I, I heard it a second ago. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Mora. Hearing a sh chime. I know there's a key here somewhere. I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed. That was a close one. Of the human condition. No, no. Look, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and uh, flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh man, how am I supposed to do this now? Terribly disappointing. Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. It encompasses the whole of the human Need to find this key. Hearing the chime, but I'm not seeing it.
Amora. I can see the door there for a second. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Okay. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. We are fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate the demiguy's figurine menace. Alrighty, this is where we end this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.